X213 J Feather by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a very cool, um, highly unique floor plan. There's a lot of things this does either in its own way or in a way that no other floor plan can match. A um, couple of quick points here I like to point out while I'm standing here. Your outside baggage doors on your J Feathers, you see how they enclose the piano hinge? That way uh, water doesn't get in here and freeze and spring the hinge because when you do it'll go screech when you lift that thing up. If you've ever, ever been in a campground and you heard that, that's why. Now, they also have a very cool little uh, outdoor storage pocket right here. They opened up every inch of this thing they possibly could for storage. It's very nice like that. Power tongue jack on the front is going to keep you from getting tennis elbow, getting this thing set up. And uh, I do like to point out that in a lightweight, like a J-Feather, that front diamond plate is not a common standard thing. Um, you know, I, uh, I love the look of this model. It looks just about like nothing else that I've ever seen. I call it the Tiburon. To me, it's it looks like a shark. It just looks awesome. It's got that. The, the color patterns are awesome. The uh, it's got the cool bullet point nose that's going to help cut the wind and be a little more aerodynamic. And uh, I really like this front uh, bunkhouse storage door. And there are other similar models out there. But what's neat about this is it opens up. The kids can use it. Um, almost like just a come and go sort of door, but its primary purpose is, is when you are uh, going down the road, you lift up this bunk and it latches against the ceiling, and you have this big giant storage garage right here. All of your bicycles, your lawn chairs, your grills, your bag toss games, your ladder ball, all that big camping stuff, you have a perfect little spot to tuck it away out of the way. And I like that Jayco's folds up this way, as opposed there are some that fold that way, and they block it off from the inside. I like to be able to get to my cargo. Another cool thing on this one is it is uh, it's only 4,300 pounds. That's that's awesome because when you're going down the road, you only really have about 21 feet behind your camper. When you're parked, though. You have almost a 30 foot camper because the bed is off of the floor plan. Your master bedroom is what's sticking out the back here. So you don't have to, to build a camper with all that space for a bed that you barely spend any time in. You know, you pop up in there, you go to sleep, you're done. Now another cool thing on the Jayco variety of the rear bed slide, of which there are very few left out there, they used to be a little more popular. And then different floor plans came out and Jayco is one of the few still building this because theirs worked well. They build with better materials. I mean, case in point, a lot of your smooth side trailers, uh, you can walk up, you can thump the sidewall, but try to do that to the side of a slide out. A Jayco is fully laminated. Try doing that to the rear wall, to the front wall. Jayco's are fully vacuum laminated. There's three ways to put fiberglass skin on a trailer. In English, good, better, and best, vacuum lamination is the best. It is the best, longest lasting type of lamination out there. Even something as simple as the motors on the power awning of a J Feather. Check this out. This is all the harder it is to run your awning in and out. Even their motors move faster. You see how fast that's moving? If you're out there shopping, ask the uh, salesperson to hook a battery up to the trailer and then play with the awning. You're going to find out a lot of these lightweight trailers have really cheap power awnings that just don't move very quickly. And uh, it's just more time that you're spent standing there waiting for this thing. The other thing is, it's sort of like, think of it like a power garage door opener. If you, you know, you go with the one third horsepower model, it will probably work for a while. But the half horse is going to move faster and it'll be more reliable and need less service. That's the whole point behind everything in a Jayco. That's why this has twice the warranty of literally anything in its class. Um, I don't know the name of this color scheme offhand. I'm still, we carry so many brands here. I have a hard time keeping them all straight. But um, it is a full fabric in a sense. It almost has like a corduroy look to it. And wh what I like about that is it's really not going to show wear and tear very easily. It's, uh, it's going to look like this for a very long time. Naturally, your dinette and your sofa can both flip down into extra sleeper spaces. But this is the hidden gem of this floor plan. Why? Because it's a king size bed. It is nearly impossible to get a king size bed in a travel trailer that isn't almost 40 foot long and has two or three slide outs. So if you're looking for something lightweight, you don't want to upgrade to a three quarter ton heavy duty mega diesel truck, but you want a big king bed, bam, there it is. This is how you make that happen. 
And with a Jayco, you have Denver Mattress brand bedding. It's 50% thicker than just about anything else you're going to find in this class. Other nice little things I like to point out on Jay Feathers, if I can get my hand up there. <laughs> there we go. The first time you pull them down, they're, they're all the way up there is the night shades instead of day shades um, and you also have more privacy this way you can pull that down like a i call it like a poor man's thermal pane you create an air pocket a uh, very poor interchange and that's the whole idea behind a thermal pane is a dead air pocket it adds insulation value um, you also have a nice pantry right here that similar floor plans from different manufacturers don't offer <coughs> oh excuse me <laughs> obviously i don't record these i just roll with it now you have a twin front bunk here but what's neat is each of these are about 50 percent wider than standard single bunks and again that bottom bunk can fold up into that garage space i showed you um you have a pair of drawers here i call it socks and underwear <laughs> that's, that's how i would label these but those drawers next to the entry door are really handy for things like um Oh, flashlights, all those little handy outdoor things like, uh, you know, your your long neck. Uh, holy cow, lighter. That's the word I'm looking for. Whew, that was tough. Foot flush stool in a lightweight is something that's not uh, standard or common, nor is full LED lighting through the entire coach. Every, every Jayco, that's what they use is LED lighting. They don't use incandescent bulbs that'll uh, go out on you, so you don't have to change them all the time. Um... Lots of fun things to talk about still, like your stereo. It's not just a stereo. It doesn't just hook up to the outdoor speakers. It's also your DVD player. It's also Bluetooth enabled. You know, I mean, everything's easy. Everything is easy in this. That's what I like about it. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.